When you see this box, you know something special is here. A simple rectangular box with a crown logo that makes the watch community crazy. Some good, some bad, but one of the most recognizable brands in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a fun one. Here we're going to unbox and look at my newest piece to my forever collection. But before that, a quick wrist check and I have on my Rolex GMT Master 2 root beer that I acquired from the authorized dealer. Check out that video in the link above if you want to see my review on it. Okay, back to the unboxing. Here we have the iconic Rolex Datejust reference 126234 with the fluted bezel, jubilee bracelet, and the mint green dial. This is the 36mm version and not the 41mm. Here you have all the paperwork in this little compartment along with some additional links, the hang tag, etc. The Rolex box is simple, compact, and overall pretty small, so I like that. It doesn't take up so much space. You know, people would argue that it's not luxurious enough, but I think it's it gets the job done. Let's first talk about how I got it, and then my overall experience owning this Datejust. So, I also got this from the same authorized dealer from where I got my root beer. I requested this specific configuration, the mint green dial, towards the end of 2022 and received it in the middle of 2023. In total, I would say about 7 months from when I requested it. I didn't buy any pieces in between that time and I probably stopped by the store once or twice. To be honest, the process seemed much easier because I simply got a text from my sales associate when it arrived. I remembered the difficulty of getting the root beer but maybe once you're in the system it gets easier. I did request a green submariner after. So we'll see if that theory is true or not. But in general, my advice is to be patient and you should get the call. Moving on to the ownership part, I absolutely love, love, love this Datejust. First of all, its iconic design truly stands the test of time. The overall design with this fluted bezel and jubilee bracelet hasn't changed much starting from the introduction way back in the 1940s. It has a deep and rich history with small incremental improvements over time. It also looks so classy on the wrist and for me my 6.5 inch wrist I personally prefer the 36 millimeter size than the 41 so that's why I went with that. The way it catches the light with its bezel and the jubilee bracelet is so beautiful. Having owned both the oyster bracelet and the jubilee, I can certainly say that I personally prefer the jubilee than the oyster bracelet. I think it hugs the wrist a little bit better.
and also the jubilee bracelet has sort of these air pockets so it's very airy and extremely comfortable Looking at the clasp, you always have the option of quickly extending the links with the easy extension. When it's a hot day and your wrist swells a little bit, you know that you always have that 5mm extra size that comes in handy. And I'm telling you from personal experience, I literally use it all the time and it's ingenious. Plus, it's also kind of fun to play with after clicking it back in so it's extremely satisfying So when do I wear my Datejust? Basically, it's been my go-to daily wear every day, especially in the summer. I find myself wearing this more in casual settings than formal settings. Although technically the Datejust is supposed to be a dressy piece, I personally wear it more like a sports watch. Maybe it's because of the fun green dog color, or maybe it's just my personal style, but there's really no rules, I think. Honestly, I was more surprised on how versatile it was from what I originally thought. In conclusion, I think the Datejust is an amazing watch. If you've been hesitant on getting one but had it on the back of your mind, I hope this video helped in some way. If you're waiting for a Rolex from your authorized dealer, write in the comments which piece you're waiting for. I hope you get it, and thanks for watching everyone, support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.